Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I wanted to talk about this little lens that I got for my GoPro Hero 10. This actually works, this is a macro lens and it actually works on the Hero 9 also. And if you have an older version, I'm sure you can find a macro lens that fits those as well. So I'm gonna show you first what it looks like real quick. Yeah, it's basically this little lens. And as you know, on the Hero 9 and on Hero 10, you can remove this lens cap thingy, boom. And then you just put on this thing. There you go. And now you have a macro lens on. So I've been playing around with it. Now I usually try to avoid buying these unnecessary gimmicks for you know your smartphones and stuff like that. But sometimes it's just a lot of fun. And actually I was watching this video by Danny Black. He was having this macro lens uh, attached to his GoPro and I thought that looks really cool. And when you have something like the GoPro Hero 10 where you can record 4K, 120 frames per second and get some really nice crispy shots. I was starting to think, you know, if you want to film grass or, you know, something very close up. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is definitely something I want to play around with. So am I going to use this a lot? Probably not, but I just felt it looked really cool. And so I'm, throughout this video, I'm going to be showing you these clips of videos and photos that I've taken. And as you can see, you get some really nice background blur in these shots, which personally to me, I think that's the biggest benefit of using a macro lens on a GoPro, other than the fact that you can get like really close to your subjects. So if you wanna get some nice close up shots, then uh, it just looks amazing. It just takes your camera to the next level. And it's the same thing with, you know, mirrorless cameras, DSLRs. When you have these different lenses and you can use different lenses for different things, I think this one is awesome. For example, I do have the Max lens also that I currently use on my Hero 9. I can't use it on the Hero 10 just yet because it doesn't have support for it. I think that the firmware update will come out in November and then I can use the Mac, Max Lens mod on it. But yeah, just uh, playing around with it, just looking at how it looks, I think it, it looks really fun. I will say though that the biggest problem with using a macro lens on a GoPro Hero is that you don't know where the focus will be. So my suggestion is that if you get a macro lens, you should really test out, like use a ruler. You, you go like, you know, shot one, shot two, shot three, and then look at the pictures afterwards, um, you know, figuring out just how much distance you should have between the camera and your subject. Because sometimes there are certain sh shots that I got where the things weren't in focus. And so you have to sort of really figure out what the sweet spot is. But yeah, I really like the background blur that you get with this thing. And um, it's it's just a lot of fun. So, you know, I this is a very short video, but I just wanted to show you some shots, what it looks like. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in getting one, I'll put some links in the description and you can check them out. Okay, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.